remember around three years ago, I would wake up every single morning at 6 a.m. And I would just instantly feel like shit. It was like I woke up and it's like for no reason at all. I just felt like absolute terrible, right? And, um, but I knew I had to get up and it was rainy and it was cold outside, bro. I was sleep deprived as, sleep deprived as fuck. But I went downstairs and when the school bus came, like before 7 a.m., I would get on and I would, I would go to the very back of the school bus and start scrolling on TikTok, right? Like on my phone. But every couple of posts would be another one of these 16 or even younger than me, right? Like, like kids who would, you know, make these videos that were like, you know, guys, here's the, here's the, here's the 10 steps to building a successful dropshipping business in 2024. And I used to watch, like around this time, a lot of these finance videos because everyone was talking about it. I, everyone was talking about it and I thought that was the way to get rich. So I always told myself, you know what, when I grow up, I'm going to build a dropshipping business, guys. I never started like I always watched a bunch of these like like bullshit scammy videos on how to make money online and none of them ever taught me anything and I always used to tell myself well I'm not good enough and I don't know what to do so I'm just not gonna start right when I came to school bro I, I was forced to listen to the teacher talk about the French Revolution and I just didn't want to talk like listen to her because I thought that like, yeah oh guys like matrix and whatever and it's not gonna fucking help you and that that just made my life worse like bro like seeing kids who were doing better than me in school, I had to listen to teachers, I had to wake up early, and my entire life was just bullshit. When I came back from school, what do you think I did? Oh, guys, I, I had promised myself I would start in the gym. I'd promised myself I would work on that business and start doing all the things that I actually wanted to do with my life. But what do you think I did? Came back home, quickly finished up my homework, and I jumped on my, like, my laptop to play video games. Every day. I ate dinner in between and after I was done with dinner I went back up, scrolled a little bit more on, on, on TikTok and then, you know, missed my sleep schedule by at least two hours to get another night of sleepless fucking shit, right? This was my life for a very long time and I bet this is your life as well. You wake up and you have nothing with your life. You've achieved nothing. You've made no progress. And every single day you tell yourself, well, I want to become rich. I want to become uh, successful. I want to move to Dubai and wherever place you want to move to. And I want to have enough money to go on any holiday. And, and I want to buy any car and I want to buy a lot of watches and look really rich and look really cool. You want to be able to walk into any fucking room and you're just jacked and, and you feel confident. You feel good about yourself, man. But you never do anything to achieve these things. Every day you constantly dream about it, but every day when you realize, damn, I actually gotta put in some effort and some progress and it's actually gonna take some time, you just give up before you've even started in the first place. And then you just get nowhere. And when the months and years progresses and you see yourself not making any progress, you feel more and more and more terrible about yourself. And by the way, before I continue the video, if you ever go to school, and you go into school and there's a bunch of girls there or your crush, and you've tried to talk to, to, talk to her, but you just get sexual thoughts in your brain because you watch so much porn and then you start like overthinking it and then you start like stumbling over your words in front of her and then you get like all embarrassed and then she looks at you like you're a weirdo. If you can relate to this because you watch so much porn and you wake up every single day feeling shit and you have no motivation and no energy to do anything like building your business and starting in the gym because you watch so much porn, I can get rid of all that pain for you. My, my nofap coaching is the first thing in the description and the pinned comment in the comment section. Now let's get on to the video again. This is the reality for a lot of men and this is not our fault. The reason why we feel this way is because of like online social media and this modern world who is, who is, it's like when we go online and we start watching these YouTube videos and, and, and TikTok videos, it makes us lazy. Like these companies have meticulously designed, designed their products and their, and their social media pages to discourage you. Because when you go online and you see everyone already being so successful and, 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 and jacked and you see Sam Sulik there with his big muscles, it discourages you. Because you think, oh well, like it, it takes too much effort, it's going to be too hard, so I'm just not going to do it. Right? It makes us think that we need to be so perfect and that's why we never fucking start. Because the reason why, quite frankly, you haven't started with your business yet is not because it's too hard or you don't know what to do. It's because you see other people online succeeding and then you think, well, I need to know every little aspect. I need to know how to, what perfect product to sell. I need to read books. I gotta watch podcasts because if I start and I fail, then I'm not good enough because everyone online seems to be always succeeding. So if I don't, if I start right now and I fuck up, right? Like then, 
then, then, then I'm just not gonna start in the first place, right? And that, that makes you never start. Like, the reason why you don't go to the fucking gym is because you see everyone in there being so jacked, being so successful already, and you're the new beginner, so you fear that other people will judge you. You feel that other people will make fun of you, or you think it's not possible to, to, to build muscle fast enough. Because you want to be like these social media influencers online, but you don't ever see their, their struggles. You don't see the 99% of people who struggle every single day. The reason why you only see the successful people online is because only the successful people will reach the, the light of the world. Only the successful people will reach, like, will, will be visible to the world and the 99% of people who fail, they will never make it so other people can see them. The truth behind being, like, sorry for my rant, but the truth behind being happy as a man, like the, the basics, there's of course a lot of things like dopamine and delayed gratification and, and dopamine detox and, and instant gratification, you've probably heard about this before. That makes you like mentally, and it's like science based happiness. But I think the thing that no one talks about nowadays is that what actually makes you happy as a young man and what like kind of builds a foundation for everything else. Like being able to wake up in the morning and then just feeling great for no reason at all, right? Like you go throughout your day and you think of the gym and instead of dreading the gym and the business work that you have to do later, you start getting really excited about it because you know like, damn, that, that's what's gonna make me achieve the things that I want in life. Being able to go throughout your day and you just feel happy just by literally touching grass. Like, like touching grass, it makes you happy for no reason at all. I think the thing that no one fucking talks about is accomplishments. Like think about it, bro. You love, like, accomplishments is what makes you happy as a man nowadays. Doing things right now. Bro, there's a train right there. What makes you happy as a man is doing things for yourself right now that your future self could be proud of. Because think about this, right? What, what, when, when do you remember a time? Like, I bet you can remember a time where your younger self did something that you're very grateful for that you have today. Maybe like you've already started in the gym. Maybe it could be that your younger self Decided to eat a little bit cleaner or your younger self decided to start on that one sport that you've started in Maybe it's swimming. Maybe it's running. Maybe it's kickboxing. I don't know Maybe it's football, right? And you're thankful that your younger self started that so you feel great about yourself now So basically the more fucking things you can do now that would benefit your future self accomplishments now the greater your future self will feel because your future self will start to love itself because you make decisions that actually benefit your future. You see, the reason why you feel so shit right now, quite frankly, is because every single day you wake up and you are pissed and you feel shit because of your younger self's decision. You feel pissed because you've not, not made any progress. You feel shit because you haven't started in the gym. You feel shit because you always procrastinate building that business. You feel shit that you spend all your time scrolling on TikTok and playing video games and doing nothing productive with your life at all. Now imagine if you started to actually go to the gym and start on that business and you did the decisions that you know would benefit you then when you wake up in a month from now on and you started to do all the right decisions, how different would you feel? Knowing that you're on the right path, knowing you're making the right decisions, knowing that you have so many fucking accomplishments, you started in your business, you started in the gym and you started to do the things that you actually want to do with your life, how great would you feel? Can you see the difference bro? Now your actionable step for this video is to go out there and grab your damn running shoes and then run a kilometer. There's so many mosquitoes. This is your actionable step. I want you, right after watching this video, to take your running shoes and go out there and run. And I know exactly what excuse you have right now. Oh, well, it's gonna be difficult. It's, it's gonna be hard. I don't wanna do that. Like, I'll have that piece of homework to do, guys. Like, I, I don't have time. I'm about to go to bed because it's late at night and you're binge watching YouTube. Oh, guys, I, gotta, I, I, I have that appointment I need to go to. Like, you have so many fucking good excuses, and the excuses always sound the best to the person who's making them. It sounds so goddamn believable, but I know there's some part of you, some part of you deep down that knows that that's not the right decision. I know there's some part of you in there who tells you, like, damn, I could actually go out there and run. I could actually do that. There's always a small voice in your head that will always try to convince you to not do the things that he knows is actually right for you. But that same voice, that same brain has led you to where you are right now. So why the fuck would you want to trust the voice of the brain that has fucked you over for years now? Why would you want to trust your own brain? Because the truth is you can't trust your own brain. Try to take my brain and shove it into your own brain. Try to 
think what would the ideal man do? What would I do? What would David Goggins do? What would Hamza do? What would any successful person do? Obviously, I'm not that successful. But try to just not trust your own brain. Don't listen to the fucking voice because your voice will always choose the thing that's wrong for you. Whenever you can hear your voice trying to convince you not to do a thing, you know that's the thing that you have to do. And the thing is, no matter if if, if you know about the voice or not, it's always going to be fucking difficult. But that's the entire point. This is why some people make it and some people don't make it. Because some people have the courage, like you, you have the courage to push through the hard times. You have the courage to do the things especially when you don't, not, when you don't feel like them. You have the courage to even though it's raining, even though it's cold, even though you have so many fucking excuses and you have that appointment there and I gotta go to bed because it's already late at night. No matter what excuse it is, some people, like you, and you're gonna be one of those people, you are one of those people and I believe that you are, are strong enough to shut that brain up and start going out there and running. Because the truth is, it's not always gonna be this hard. Once you start seeing results, once you start stacking up the achievements, once you start doing things for your future self, then you'll start to see like, oh damn, that's actually what will bring me happiness and happiness won't actually come from watching TikTok and binging and doing all the bad habits. Happiness will actually come from doing the things that are good for me. So once you start like, getting the ball rolling, once you start getting momentum, then the hard things will become easier and easier and easier. I know some people look at me and think, how the fuck do, does Leona go to the gym five times a week, records a video almost every single day while doing homework, while doing self-improvement? It's not even hard for me. You just gotta start, you just gotta push the initial fucking barrier of excuses of, of oh, I don't wanna do it, oh it's too late, I'm too tired, I, I don't have this and this and this excuse. Whatever fucking excuse it is, if you can just push through the first week or two of just the fucking excuses, then after that it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. It's not gonna be difficult anymore. I just go to the gym because I go to the gym, it's not fucking difficult. I just record videos because I record videos, it's not difficult. Initially, you're gonna have to break through the barrier and trust me, I believe in you. I know you can do this. I, I, like, I was in your position so long ago. Maybe this video was made for my younger self. But trust me when I say I believe you can because I believe that my younger self could as well. The reason why I even got to this point is because I believed in myself. So you should believe in yourself that you can get what you've always wanted in life. You can, like, tell yourself right now, I can get rich. I can get jacked in the gym. I can't get whatever I've ever wanted in life. So I'm going to fucking go after and do it. I believe in you, your friends believe in you, your mom maybe believes in you, so why won't you just believe in yourself? Stop screwing your life over, man. I'm here to support you, and I think, believe that you can do it, so you, you're gonna go right now, grab whatever running shoes you have, whatever thing you have, to run in, and go out there and one, run one damn kilometer. It doesn't take more than five minutes, and I know it's late at night, I know maybe you have some kind of excuse, I know, I know you have a specific excuse in your head right now that tells you to not do it. And it seems so believable. It seems like, yep, 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 I can't go, to, I can't go running right now because I, I, it, it's impossible. I can't do it. No matter what, I can't do it because of this excuse. Trust me when I say that excuse is what's always going to keep you in the same place right now. You, eventually, you're going to grow up and you're fucking 70 years old. And you're going to look back and wish that you could have just done something differently. Every single day, you always look back at the previous day, hating yourself for for the actions you did the previous day. Yet the same day repeats itself every single day where you always feel shit about the previous day. When is it going to change? Nothing fucking changes if nothing changes. Believe in yourself because I believe in you. Go after the things that you really know you can achieve in life and go out there, grab your running shoes right now. I, like literally, I'm going to end the video in like half a minute and you're going to go out there and fucking run. I do not care what excuses you have. You're going to do it. So I hope this video helped you. Good luck, man. You got this.